Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, someone asked me as a question. Uh, you talked about it with some people. They're saying it's normal and uh, that is because it's Windows. And it's the fact that he would like his PC to be on 24 hours for different tasks. And he says he, it's impossible. His PC crashes at least once a day. So he's been told by even tech guys that... Well, Windows is like that, you know, you have to give it rest and it, it you know, will crash if it's on for too long. And it's normal. Well, I have news for you. It is not normal and your PC should not crash every day. Um, there are different things that can make a PC crash, a lot of different things. Um, I say it all the time. Um, people think that, you know, it's crashing because, oh, it's Windows. But that is a false excuse. It's actually an excuse for tech guys that don't know what they're doing most of the time. Um, to give you an idea, I've got two PCs here that I leave running 24 hours. They never crash. The only time that I notice they do something is because Patch Tuesday forces them to reinstall, to restart, uh, to install the updates. In between that, they've not crashed at all in a full month. And I don't remember when they have crashed the last time. So it gives you an idea that no, a PC is rock solid. Windows does not crash uh, all the time. Those that do always think it's Windows, always think, oh, well, you know, they need to fix Windows because it's crashing all the time. Uh, and unfortunately, a lot of people refuse to accept that, yeah, well, there's something wrong with your PC and or there's something wrong with what you're doing. So it's very important to understand that, nope, a PC does, does not crash every day. That's for sure. So what could make your PC crash? A lot of things. The first is this week I posted a video on how to check your RAM memory. This is one of the most common reasons computers crash, a faulty RAM module. Um, so do check that video to um, examine RAM memory. I'll post the link to it in the description to this video. Other things that make your PC crash, um, a lot of it has to do with bad drivers. Uh, so you might want to check if there's updates for your different drivers on your system because bad drivers are probably the second most common reason why a computer crashes. Uh, there's a lot of more bad drivers than you think out there. Drivers really tell Windows how everything works and um, all sorts of problems can arrive, conflicts and so on. So there's uh, a few of these. Then, of course, too many software, too many things you're doing. Um, you know, checking out what you have installed, what you really need, what you don't need. One of the great ways to fix a PC that crashes uh, is often doing a complete reinstall of Windows, what we call a clean install. Start from scratch and only install what you need. Another thing to check for is overheating. PCs run hot and if they run too hot and then they could crash. They could do blue screens, freezes. Uh, that is also very common, especially in the summer in the hot days. If you don't have air conditioning, uh, it stresses the PC a lot more. So do check out different uh, things. Uh, make sure the BIOS, UEFI BIOS of your PC is up to date. Um, 98, 99% of all the crashes in Windows, it's not Windows. It's third-party software. It's bad drivers. It's something that's installed. Hardware failure, RAM failure. Uh, that's 99%. Um, you know, it, your PC should not crash every day. With whatever version of Windows you have, some people tend to say Windows 11 crashes more. It doesn't. So do check your PC or have it checked correctly and do not accept the response that is way too easy by a lot of tech guys. Oh, well, you know, it's Windows. That's why. No, it's not. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.